Hello there, my name is Kim Zwitserloot and I work at University College Utrecht as an assistant professor in economics, a tutor, and I'm also responsible for international student recruitment. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in applying to our liberal arts and sciences program. So here are three tips that will help you prepare your application. First one, very straightforward, but very important, follow the instructions. If you go to our website, you'll see that there are a number of documents we would like you to send us. And two of them are ones that you will have to write yourselves. The first one is a statement of academic motivation. There are two questions we would like you to answer. And in total, for both questions, you can write 300 to 500 words. Please don't go over that. It's really 300 to 500 words max. And make sure that in your letter, you answer every single thing that we ask for. You'd be surprised how often that doesn't happen. Uh, and if there's information missing, that of course reflects badly on your application. So make sure that you answer every aspect of the question. The first question is how will liberal arts and sciences at University College Utrecht contribute to your personal and academic development and your ambitions in a way that other programs cannot? The second one is, what would you like to study here? What subjects would you like to combine? And how do these subjects combine? And what led you to these interests? We offer a liberal arts and sciences program, and that means that you have a chance to explore your academic interests. You can choose from about 23 different subjects in humanities, science, and social science. Most students would combine three to five different subjects, and you could do at most a quarter or so of your uh, classes in one particular subject. So that is something to be aware of. We really want to see in your letter that you're interested in multiple things, that you're open about exploring different interests. Um, yeah, and that, that, that you have thought about why it would be useful to study multiple fields instead of only one. So make sure you cover that in your letter. The second form is an activities form. And this is basically what have you been doing when you were not at school? That could be work, that could be a hobby, sports, clubs, voluntary work, any of those. And we ask you to choose three that have been meaningful to you. What do you get out of them? Why do they, uh, why do you find them important? What do you find valuable about them? And of course, it may also be the case that you had family responsibilities. Maybe someone was sick at home or you had to help out in a family business or there were other reasons. Um, address those in uh, in the form as well. There is a second page where you can elaborate on those. Make sure to mention those because we'd really like to get to know who you are as a person, not just as a student, but really as a person. The second tip is that when you answer these questions, really give in-depth explanations and ideally also give examples. When you, for instance, answering the question, what has led you to an interest in a specific subject? Tell us what made you interest in, for instance, physics or history or psychology. Is there a book you've read, a documentary you watched, a podcast you listened to? Maybe it's just a conversation you had with someone, a personal experience or a teacher that was really great. Explain really in depth where does your interest come from and give us examples of what you have done to find more information in those subjects. Maybe you can also say something about a paper that you enjoyed researching or a presentation that you gave that you really enjoyed, but really make it concrete. Um, tell us really why these, this interest. The last tip, tip number three, is that it's not just about what you like about us, but it's also what you can contribute to our community, because we are very much a community. Our students don't just study here, they also live together here, and they live with people from all over the world studying different things. So we would really like to know what will you contribute to our campus community? Is there a particular experience, skill set, knowledge, or simply a point of view? What will you bring to our community? Those are our, my three tips. If you'd like to know more, please go to our website. You can read in depth what the exact instructions are for your application. So all at this stage, 
The only thing I can say is good luck with your application and maybe see you at UCU.